When the Brit Festival sells out, more than 2,000 people make their way to Jacksonville. It simply doubles the size of the town because the town is right around 2,000 people. So it's significant and it has a significant impact on the businesses and on the neighborhoods and we're very sensitive to that. The influx of people in a matter of hours creates traffic and of course the struggle for that perfect parking space. So for those who can't get to the Brit early to grab a good spot, guests will have a far walk. But the Chamber of Commerce comes to the rescue with a trolley picking up music lovers all around town. Well, they can either stay where they are because the trolley makes laps. It goes around the town, up and down streets and up the main. The schoolhouse brew house at the Bigham Knoll campus also provides a shuttle service and free parking. We consider that to be a just perfect partnership of offering this free service to the community. So to lighten some of the parking load on the city of Jacksonville. After parking your car, the shuttle makes trips every 15 minutes, beginning an hour before the show starts, and it makes a trip back to Bigham Knoll after the concert is over. We do anywhere from we'll shuttle up two people if that's what we have, but we make sure everybody gets up there at the end of the night. So. The Brit also making its own changes to help with parking problems. As you can see, we have just completed brand new parking for our tour buses and then a brand new ADA parking lot, which is a significant improvement. Festival managers say they also plan to add 100 parking spaces on property purchased this year.